It's not worth five hundred dollars. All right, that's what people ask most. Is is that cigar worth five hundred dollars? It's not. Okay, I hope that a little bit different. You get the gold and silver, well slash platinum. So chances are, after this one, I might not be able to do another one because this is my last one, and um, I haven't found a place where I can buy another one. So there we go. Oro Blanco. It's a silver band, but I think it, I think they'll probably much prefer to call it platinum band because. Strip on. Oh, you want more? Oh, here's the stack. Oh, you want more? There you go. There you go. Ah, you know what? Take the whole thing. This you know, cigar is definitely more than 100. I can tell you that it's more than 100, but less than 600. Okay. For $600, she showed that beautiful, nice voice, nice booby, nice butt, nice everything. But, light up. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Well, today we have another cigar review. And it's one of the cigar reviews I've done a few times. I guess there will be a revisit review. Uh, because every time I talk to somebody about, or have somebody talk to me about Oro Blanco, it's like, Tony, what's your experience with Oro Blanco? Because that's one cigar I actually smoke quite a bit. And, and obviously... Uh, they were like, oh, I want to do a review on it, so you should too. And I go, yeah, sure, why not? And usually that's the case, so I think I have the most Oro Blanco video on YouTube right now. <laughs> Including this one, that is. So, here we go. Oro Blanco, Davidoff. Alright. See y'all? And, um... We got to open one today. Right now, the MSRP is $600, used to be $500. And where the hell is my knife? There it is. It's 600. So that's if you can find it. We went to a different Davidoff uh, when I was in Miami. They didn't have any more. So, you know, you got to get it while you can. And um, save it. <laughs> because let me tell you straight up. Now that I re reviewed this many, many times. Indeed, number one, you don't have to wait till the last minute. It's not worth five hundred dollars. All right, that's what people ask most. Is is that cigar worth five hundred dollars? It's not. Okay, I hope that save you the eighteen minutes. <laughs> it's not worth five hundred dollars. Okay, so it has to do with the rarity. It has to do with how many they produce. It had to do with who made it. Okay, special reserved two thousand or two. It says on there. So. Now it's been 21 years. Inside you get a box like this. This box is very, very heavy. Very, very heavy. Full size box. And I think that, you know, this review will be just kind of redo what I did feel like I didn't give last time. So you get a box like this. It's a sliding drawer with the cedar in the stuff in there. Uh, inside is lined. So that there is a, a good seal when you close it up. Now keep in mind, if you put this the wrong way, you'll have a hard time getting it out. Let's get some information about the cigar. The cigar is 6x54. It's Toro Extra. MSRP is 500 but it's $600 now. Uh, the release date was actually... Original release is 2014, but my box is 2002. So, it's been a while. And... Uh, da -da 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 it's a Dominican Puro, and the idea of calling it Oro Blanco is because whoever was blending it get an inspiration from watching a sunset. Okay, so you get a cedar to go with it. I don't know if anybody wanted to light it with that, but I don't. Inside, it looks ah uh, fuck. It looks like this. All right, 
Gray dark wrapper. Chocolate dark wrapper. There you go. This bands are kind of loose. Every time I get one, the bands kind of loose. I don't know why. So there you go. All blanco. There we go. So chances are after this one, I might not be able to do another one because this is my last one. And um, I haven't found a place where I can buy another one. So there we go. Smell like chocolatey, woodsy, oaky, and then this really nice chocolate color, by the way, and looks really nice. It just it looks like a chocolate. A little bit of cedar, a little bit woodsy, but mostly chocolate. I can smell a lot of chocolate in this one. A little bit of spice too. You can smell it. It's not to get spicy as I smell them. So, let's light this up. Put the box away. Honestly, I don't know why people need to keep this box because it says Oro Blanco on it. <laughs> so, it fits Oro Blanco. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, some people like to keep it for collection. I don't know. All right. So, yep. That's cut and light. Cutter. Gotta kiss it a little bit because this one is literally stored in the box. And the box is like double-edged sword. It keeps the moisture inside very well. It also keeps moisture coming in very well. Very clean cut. Draw is 100 point. It never fails their draw, I think. For a cigar this caliper, they should test this draw like a billion times. Okay? Light up. A little bit leathery in smell. It has this really pleasant... Uh, woodsy smell with the leatheriness. Oh wait, I forgot. Okay. You happy now? You happy now? I swear, when I go to Linda, I'm going to get kicked out for that. Honestly, normally most cigars, the first draw sucks. This one, first draw, you already taste cedar, creaminess, white pepper, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of saltiness, almost like pistachio. And some sort of alcohol taste, like, like an oak barrel or something like that. Like a woodsiness to it. Creamy, 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 creamy. And coffee at the end note. So that end note starts to work a little bit of bitterness. That gets me a coffee taste. All right, a coffee taste. Very nice. I'll say at times. It also gives you a little bit of mm, uh, hay or earthiness going on. But the flavor for this cigar is unmistakably full. It, it, you can taste it right away. There's no like, oh, I guess there is something. It's more like, I taste it. You, you gotta be like, what some people said, dead in mouth. Do not taste anything here because the moment you open, you take this out, you smell it, you can taste it almost. You take a puff, you taste it right away. There's no question, right? There is zero question about what taste is there. You, you get it right away. You can be you can be a beginner and try to take a puff and like, mm, I taste wood. That's how clean the flavor is. So the, the flavor in there is very clean, all right? Very smooth and very clean. That's what you get from this cigar.
You gotta keep in mind this cigar. Ooh, that is so sweet. I just taste some sweet queen. Um, you gotta keep in mind this cigar has been aged. And even when you get it to your humidor, you continue to age. So this cigar potentially is 21 years of age. Not necessarily the, the, the way they age in the factory, but it's been sitting there. So the, the, the taste is such, start to get mellow out. So it would be very in, uh, like from intense flavor to full flavor and just very identifiable. But at this moment, I feel like, you know, I just, when you keep the cigar, as you wait it, it just gets get worse, worse and worse. You can't wait too long. You have to, you have to buy it. And then you, you know, you look at the years, you got to start smoking it because as you uh, pass a certain amount of time, you start to depreciate, right? Because uh, the oil starts to dry up. Uh, you know, it depends how you keep it, right? I keep this one okay, so it doesn't look like it's dried up or anything. But, you know, not every cigar like that, right? It depends on how you store it. And where you store it can potentially depreciate your investment of $600. Oh, it's actually really good. But it's not $500, $600 good. I can tell you that flat out. It's very enjoyable. The flavor is very good. It's always there. It's always full. It's not like, hey, guess who I am? I just showed up. And you're like, um, Tony, nice to meet you. And they go, psych, come me back in 10 minutes. Not like that. It's more like they showed up and they're here to stay. Smoke output is kind of ridiculous too. I talk about... You just keep seeing the smoke keep coming out. Keep coming out. Keep coming out. Smoke output, ridiculous. You see that? And ignore the color of the smoke because I have color lights running. So you got to see all kind of weird different colors. But this smoke continues. All right. It's a high quality cigar. It definitely is. Um. Uh, It's almost flawless. It's almost perfect. But technically, there is no such thing as perfect cigar, and there's definitely no such thing as $600 cigars. Because what they use to create this, I don't know. Way less than 500 bucks. Oh, so good. Sweet, cedary, salty, uh, creamy, a uh, coffee, chocolate. You just keep getting more and more and more and it's coming back, right? And, and, and it's, it's, it's a it's a good cigar. So yeah, let me smoke one for one third and pretend I don't enjoy it and come back. Because <laughs> I do enjoy it. I, I guess it was all the time, but like, you know, I don't know what else to tell people after I did a three, 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 four review on this already. So I guess I'll be right back. All right, one third the ash just came off. It was a pretty good ash, but I guess I popped too hard or something like that. So uh, let's let's review the flavor a little bit. Let's review the flavor. These bands, I, I feel like they didn't want to glue the band, touch the the tobacco, but that's a little loose. Woodsy, oaky, leathery, a lot of chocolate, a lot of chocolate, and um, coffee. Leather, very small, 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 small amount of pepper, and that reminiscing of some sort of nuts, like salty ones. I don't know, peanut or pistachio or or maybe walnut kind of nuttiness to it. Very creamy, very very creamy. A little bit of hay or earthiness, a little barnyard nut like. Uh, on the nose, um, it's just a very enjoy, full, full, full flavor. Like you can taste every single thing. So long as you try to pay attention, it's like oh, I, I already taste you. Move away. Oh, I already taste you. Move away. I already taste you. Move away. And you'll find every single one of them. It's so easily identified. Very smooth. Very nice cigar. It's about medium strength, but everything else is full. Right, full flavor, full body, uh, full enjoyment, all that stuff. Everything's full. Yes. Okay, so I don't even know what else to talk about this. It's just a really good cigar. But regardless of whatever I said, I can enjoy this 100%. Still not worth $500. All right. The coffin 
even if you like, even if you spend a hundred dollars to make this, it's still not five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Still not. But the, the combination is just so nice. It's so sweet and nice. It's like a dessert, yet enjoyable, yet good. I don't know what else. I mean, maybe this one has been sitting for so long that it actually tastes better. I don't know. You know, you know maybe because I've been tasting so many crappy cigars, you see out on the, on the reviews that this cigar tastes particularly good today. I don't know. So, yeah. But right now, very, very good. I'm, drink, I'm, I'm drinking a milk tea to go with it. Perfect. Perfect combination. So, yeah. Let me smoke another third. Oh man, every third is like 150 bucks gone. Well, actually, no, 200 bucks gone. <laughs> so let me smoke another third. I'll be right back. Holy shit. Oh man. All right, I will say this about two third because I taste the flavor changing again. Pepper ramping up again. Yep, white pepper ramping up, but it's still a sweet cigar. It's still a dessert cigar. Still creamy, still cedary, still okay. That did. Every taste that you get from this cigar from the very beginning, it keeps going. It just adds more. Well, you're gonna get add more. It's right now. It's a little, almost a little fruity, a little bit fruity, uh, but I can't tell what fruit that is because it's just a little bit, right? And you get a sweetness. You still get the creaminess. You still get the oakiness. You still get the leathery. You still get the, uh, still get the hay. You still get cedar. You still get chocolate. You get everything. Still, it just adds more. It just give you more. Keep giving. Keep giving. Oh, it's like you know somebody go to. Uh, strip bar. Oh, you want more? Oh, here's yeah, the stack. Oh, you want more? There you go. There you go. Ah, uh, you know what? Take the whole thing. You know that's what it feels like for this cigar. It keeps on giving, right? My only issue is that I don't think the cigar actually like to stay. Every time I do a little thing, it just falls off. Um, which is fine as long as, as long as it tastes good. I don't really care about. The long ash thing, because somebody else does, but I don't. I just, I actually prefer it when it falls down because I feel like it gets a fresher, cleaner taste when it does. So it's a very smooth cigar. It tastes really, really good. So now, now that we approach the first band, there you go. Oro Blanco. It's a silver band, but I think, it, I think they'll probably much prefer the color platinum band because it's kind of like silver, platinum, liquid ish. It says Oro Blanco with the autograph on the side. This master blender, you know. Now, don't ask me who blends this because I never pay attention to who blends what. But there you go. You can go look it up easily. So, yeah. Now we're approaching the last third. That's $400 out. Do you feel like that's $400? There's not going to be one cigar where you spoke two thirds like that is $400, baby. No, that doesn't happen. So... Yeah, it's not worth that much, but I can tell you it's definitely worth at least $100 because I smoke $100 cigars that are less enjoyable than this. This is more enjoyable than a $100 cigar. Plus this box is it's solid, y'all. This thing is solid. So you got to give it to them, you know? Plate is actually like, I don't know, laser on with something plate. So yeah. This this alone should cost like five fifty dollars to a hundred dollars. So this cigar is definitely more than a hundred. I can tell you that it's more than one hundred, but less than six hundred. Okay. So can you still find this one? Yeah, you still kind of can online, but you gotta buy it online uh, on their own website. But keep in mind, two hundred dollars every third. You better be celebrating something good. I'm kind of celebrating because uh, I am celebrating my birthday. We celebrate the success of the Miami Me. We also celebrate the first, you know, collaboration cigar, Casa Cueva, Patrimonio, Prensado with Little Guy Cigar Shop and Casa Cueva. You know, all, all that things to celebrate. So I don't mind just smoke the cigar, but keep in mind, every third, that when I come back, every time I come back to the screen, $200 gone. <laughs> and I already have, I don't know how many review of the cigar. Uh, yeah, so. Let me smoke another third. I'll be right back. Okay, finally, last third. I'm leaving a little bit for myself after this because I'm going to cry about how much it is cost. And obviously, every third is $200. And so, the band, again, a little bit different. You get the gold and silver well, slash platinum 
around it and I hold it backward, of course. There you go. Um, I don't know. It's cool, but not cool. Cool, not cool. Whatever that is. So. <sighs> it's good. At the end, the pepper rimmed up. It's still sweet. It's still nice. Still has every taste that they, out there. It just, I say like, you know, because that little peppery makes it a little bit like cooling effect after you get burned. Kind of tastes like chocolate chip, mint, chocolate mint chip, chocolate mint chip, mint chocolate chip. Yeah, here we go. Mint chocolate chip um, flavor. And, you know, you get the woodsiness after. You still get the afterburn of a pepper. Very enjoy dessert like cigar. Very beautiful to look at. Very enjoyable. Again, celebration cigar. Make you feel like a badass. Or um, after you're done, it might make you feel like a little bit dumbass to pay for that. Because I feel like a dumbass every time uh, to pay for that kind of amount of money for cigars. And I think some of the friends will agree that, yeah, no cigar should cost this much. But it does, right? What are you going to do? And it is a very enjoyable cigar. Very nice, very enjoyable. Smoke output, like I say, it's beautiful. I don't have to puff on it. It's still smoking, right? So about hour and a half, medium strength, very enjoyable, very good cigar, very good quality, very good everything except the price. And yeah, I, I don't know what else to tell you. The most common question is always like, is the Oro Blanco worth it? And you're like, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Don't smoke it unless you're bowler. Don't. Don't get tricked into that. In fact, yeah, don't get tripping, tricked into that. No. No. You can you can try one. You can buy one. The best way to smoke this cigar is tell people on your birthday, it's my birthday and this is what I want. And hopefully your significant other will go buy that so you don't feel nearly as bad. You can actually enjoy that. But other than that, if you got to go spend your own money, at the end, you like... It's worth a little bit more than hundred dollars, but you just pay six hundred. All right, you know what I'm saying? Put that in perspective. All right, you order a male order wife for six hundred dollar. She showed up, beautiful, nice voice, nice booby, nice butt, nice everything. But She only responds to you once every six days. <laughs> You're like, I pay six hundred dollars. I should get every single day, but no, you only get once. Every That's kind of like that thing, right? You spend six hundred dollar, but you get a hundred dollar worth of enjoyment, which in that price range is quite high. I, I mean, the most cigar you can buy within hundred dollar range. This is above the norm. It's not even normal. All right, it's not even normal. And like, even if Pajon was to make some cigar, it wouldn't be like six hundred dollars, right? Um, obviously, it does not. It makes no sense. Almost like pussy juice. It makes no sense for that uh, that particular cigar, right? Um, from Opus X. And like a lot of cigar that doesn't make sense, but they can charge you that money because they didn't make a lot of it, and you wanted it. And this cigar is like that. They didn't make a lot of it, you wanted it. It's like one of those industry unicorns where everybody in the industry knows that it's not worth it, but you still bought it. That's what it is. So, yeah. Uh, consume this at your own risk. With you now The side effect includes wallet pain, sadness, <laughs> headache, uh, 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 extreme loneliness afterwards, uh, fear of emptiness. <laughs> but... Doing it, you feel great, okay? So that's Oro Blanco. I hope you guys enjoy uh, this particular review. I hope I, I added all the information that I didn't probably didn't cover the last time I smoked this cigar. Now, with that in perspective, I also want to mention that smoke uh, Eric Smoke White, if you have one, is also doing a review. Apparently, he's celebrating my birthday. Not with me, but he's celebrating my birthday with that. So, you know, go watch his review and see what he said. You know, that's his first time. So he have a very genuine response compared to mine because uh, I, I am smoking and giving you uh, a... I have done it a few times and this is how I feel kind of kind of review. So 
it is what it is. If you like the review, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. I don't you know. Honestly, you don't really have to share. I feel like I have the most Oro Blanco review of the entire YouTube. <laughs> Myself, if you search for Oro Blanco, you probably find me four times or three times. So it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, this is the last time I ever had to review the cigar. I might not even go get any more. It makes no sense. All right, it's time for me to celebrate with other cigars because they're running out of this. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys. <laughs>